Hello and welcome. This is Buzz URB's weekly news show here on 1449 AM URB. Um, we are now going to cross live to our reporter in the field, Caitlin Fitzmorris. We've just walked past Downing Street. We're now just about heading into Parliament Square and this is absolutely mental. Um, we just saw the bar contingent who had signs about Don Foster betraying them. Um, I mean, I personally remember Don Foster coming onto campus last year before the general election and saying and promising that he would vote against any rise in tuition fees. And we have uh, a number of guys out there at the moment down in London for us, including Mr Nick Hill. Nicky, there? Hi, yeah, we're, we're here with NUS President Aaron Porter, who um, we interviewed in Bath just a few days ago. How are you feeling about the march today already? Well, I've been overwhelmed. I mean, this is an unprecedented number of students and academic staff and staff generally who have turned out to London in record numbers to show the government that we want to question the depth of the cuts to universities, which has been singled out for a disproportionate cut but also to simultaneously treble tuition fees when students cannot be assured that the quality of what they receive will be any better than what they're receiving presently and in places like Bath where someone like Don Foster who has so many students in his constituency campaigned on a manifesto to abolish tuition fees is seriously going to look students in the eye and tell them he's going to treble them that is utterly ridiculous and he should expect to lose his seat if he was to pursue with that policy. We've, we're actually reaching the near the end of, um, of the actual march point and uh, we're going to get some speeches shortly. The number of people, the sheer numbers, is absolutely incredible, literally lining Millbank for the best part of a mile. These students say there's still time for MPs to change their minds. It's not a done deal. They still have this wind window of opportunity to really make a difference and say no to the cuts that the Coalition are proposing on universities. We have had an exclusive phone interview with Don Foster, our Bath constituency MP. I think one of the, the problems we've all got to recognise is the state of the economy at the present time and the need to make a number of cuts right across the board. Um, but right now we have some breaking news. Um, students have started a fire outside Millbank Tower. This is Gina Ray, Bassett Editor-in-Chief, and I'm currently in front of 30 Millbank. It's Conservative headquarters by here. Objects are now being thrown at, at the building, and there are cracks appearing in the windows which are being banged. The police are around. We're expecting them to come and break it up at some point, but for now, there's thousands and thousands of students. Uh, there's a man next to me telling me that they're banging so hard on the window right now, it is seconds from smashing. It's wobbling like crazy. It's mental here in London. Absolutely mental. Um, we caught up with Aaron Porter earlier. Well, I think it's utterly despicable that Don Foster has apparently done such a U-turn. Six months ago, he was going around shamelessly saying that he wanted fees abolished. If the man's got any backbone or spine, he'll vote against the government and stick to his words. Otherwise, a generation of students will never forgive him. We caught up with Don Foster MP mm. and here's his retort. I think it's a pity that he didn't actually turn up for the meeting he was due to have with me today, so he could have said that to my face. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I think anybody who has taken the really difficult decisions that I've had to take to actually join a coalition government with a political party that I spent all of my life opposing, uh, I think they'll recognise that I took a very tough decision, but one that was in the best interest overall of the country. There is a group who is staying in front of Millbank Tower and police are now, as I'm talking to you right now, moving in to move them away. All the glass, all the panels of glass have now broken um, for the whole reception area. A, there was a gang of people in there who have broken all the glass. The panes came down onto, on, onto the ground. Um, it's actually quite scary, I'm not going to lie. P people on the roof... Um, which has now increased in, in numbers massively on, um, on the roof of uh, one of Millbank's towers. Uh, there's now sort of 30, 40 people setting off flares and uh, fire extinguishers all the way along there. Basically, it's all got out of hand. There aren't enough police. The, the walls, their glass walls, their bulletproof glass have been, all been smashed in. The whole front of the building is completely smashed in and it was basically ransacked. But there is glass everywhere, people are throwing things. There's fire, it's just in every way you can imagine a riot, it's, it's an absolute mess here. Fortunately, no one from Bath was involved in any of the violence, which was instantly condemned by Aaron Porter, rightly so, and from me. Um, I think that it, 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 students shouldn't, shouldn't look at the, at the, at the protests there, at the violence that we saw today as representative, uh, as representative of, the, of the mass of students that actually came to London. Our coverage that day was broadcast live through the campus and back to students on 1449 AM URB. 
Both CTV and Bath Impact produced content which was printed and produced upon their return, some of which you've seen today. Thanks to all those involved in producing this content, from our reporters in London including Nick Hill, Gina Ray, Caden Fitzmaurice, Morris, Lizzie Roberts and Rebecca Stagg and Tom Rees, through to our presenters on the day including Simon Rushton, Tamer Hudson and David James, and our producers Stephen Briscoe and Sam Foxman. Thank you.